The dawning event is back, and today I'm going to give you my quick complete guide to the entire event, what it is, how it works, how to get rewards quickly, what the best farms are, and a few other tips as well. Timestamps are right here, and let's go. First up, what can you get from playing the dawning holiday event? Three things come to mind that you might care about. Weapon drops that you can only get from the dawning, bright dust, and the brand new dawning memento. For weapon drops, you can get the cold front SMG, the avalanche machine gun, the Glacial Clasm Fusion Rifle, the Zephyr Sword, the Stay Frosty Pulse Rifle, and the new Albedo Wing Arc Glaive. If you're a veteran player, a lot of these returning weapons have new perks and roll combos that you can check out using something like D2 Foundry. In the meantime, if you want a god roll guide video on the dawning weapons, be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Won't cover that today, video would end up being too long if I did. For Bright Dust, you can head to Eva Levante at the Tower. Provided she has a head, good lord with that glitch, you can pick up weekly or repeatable bounties bounties that can reward you with Bright Dust. Weekly bounties give 200, repeatable bounties give 10 each. It's worth noting that even though you can get a ton of Bright Dust playing the Dawning, it's going to take a lot of repeatable bounty farming in order to get a substantial amount of dust. Remember that one Dawning armor set will cost you 6,000 Bright Dust. I'd maybe use repeatable bounty farming as a way to top off your dust count if you're close to 6,000. Otherwise, it would take 600 goddamn repeatable bounties to get a full armor set from scratch and uh, yeah, ain't nobody got time for that. Something new added to the dawning in 2023 is the brand new dawning memento, which I'm not gonna lie, actually looks pretty badass. This is probably what I'll be farming for the most outside of a glaive god roll for the memes. If you want to get the dawning memento, you need to complete the winter night quest that you get from Eva Levante. Important reminder that Eva actually gives you more than one dawning quest. She also has a quest called Cookie Delivery Helper. Again, that is not the memento quest. So if you really just want to beeline getting the memento as quickly as you can, look for Winter Night. If there ends up being a streamlined dawning farm for this memento, I'll be sure to either update the pinned comment and let you know, or make a farm video, depending on how easy it is to get more mementos. Quick note, if you're going for the memento, an early part of the quest will ask you to get kills with upgraded snowballs using two particular perks, Long Winter and Stay Frosty. You can get both of these upgrades directly from Eva Levante at the tower. Also, you actually need to acquire the Longer Winter perk too before you can even unlock Stay Frosty. So all in all, you'll need the first three upgrades from Eva to throw upgraded snowballs. To begin the event, go talk to Eva Levante at the tower to get your quest and your oven. If you're a new player, you can use the oven to bake cookies, which you then hand deliver to NPCs in D2, and they give you rewards in return. If you're a veteran player, you can masterwork your cookie oven immediately if you've already done so in the past. If you've never masterworked the oven before, you can unlock the ability to do that by baking one of every kind of cookie in the game. Sounds like a chore, I know, but it's worth the effort because masterworking your oven allows you to bake cookies for cheaper, meaning you can make more of them. Try to prioritize doing that if you've never played the dawning before. You can check out the recipes of how to make every cookie in the game by just opening your oven and inspecting the recipe portion. You can also check how to get ingredients by inspecting the ingredient portion of the oven. Here's a quick tip, which you should definitely remember to do before you get grinding. If you're a veteran player, open your collections and pull out the Starfarer 7M ship from season 12. That'll give you access to to a really rare perk called Spirit of the Season. That perk will give you a chance to get Dawning Spirit every time you find a Dawning ingredient out in the wild. If you're a new player, don't worry, just go to Evil Levante at the tower, tab over to the right a few times, and you should be able to directly buy the ship from her for Glimmer and Legendary Shards, maybe after doing an intro quest or two. Be sure to have that ship equipped on all three characters if you intend to grind out loot in the Dawning. Speaking of loot, let's talk about the Dawning event card. There's a few rewards you can claim instantly with an upgraded event card, but if you don't feel like spending silver, aka real money, no worries, you can grind out the card for free. There are a few challenges on the event card which can give you new loot right away. For example, there are two ways you can quickly unlock the Albedo Wing Glaive, both the Ice Cold Combat Challenge and the Thunder Snow Challenge. Like every other event in D2, you can target certain drops if you care about some of the weapons more than others. Or if you're trying to complete the entire event card, try to look through the entire list of challenges and combine when you can to make things quicker. For example, you could get progress on both the Yarn Maker Challenge and the Competitive Spirit Challenge by using 
using a strand weapon in PvP. If you care about gilding your Star Baker title, you can also focus on completing challenges on the event card, otherwise don't worry about it that much. Moving on, let's talk about Essence of Dawning. Provided you can make a lot of cookies, you can actually farm a decent amount of loot in the Dawning event. But in order to make a lot of cookies, you need a lot of Essence of Dawning. If you're wondering, yeah, there is an Essence of Dawning farm, and yep, it's 100% exactly what you're expecting. Remember when Bungie patched the Spectral Page farm back in Festival of the Lost? Well, guess what they forgot to preemptively take care of before the Dawning launched? Yeah, that's right, Essence Farming via the first Contact Lightfall campaign mission. Same as it's always worked. If you're new, here's the deal. Load up the first Contact mission, go through it until you get to the part where you're in a hangar and moving forward would open a door to several drop pods to abandon ship. At that point, go to orbit to hold the mission checkpoint, then load the checkpoint, have a friend join you, swap characters, and rejoin your friend, then get in the drop pod. That's it, a farm that takes only a few seconds to do and gives you around 16 to 17 essence per run. Bungie will no doubt patch this in the near future, so get your low effort essence farming in now while you can. If they do patch this, by the way, you can probably do heroic public event farming on the EDZ, or if there's a better method, I will go ahead and update the pinned comment. If you're looking for a dawning spirit farm, that is pretty easy. Again, if you have the 7M ship, all you need to do is kill a butt-ton of enemies and hope RNG gives you dawning spirit. An easy way to do this would be to load up the Grasp of Avarice dungeon opening encounter. Another thing you can do if you're on PC is AFK cookie farm. To do this, you'll need a pre-Golgoroth maze checkpoint from the King's Fall raid. When you have that, you can stand in one place where Thrall repeatedly spawn and you can kill them forever with any kind of macro. Doing this, you can get both chitin powder and and multifaceted flavors, which means you can basically AFK farm the bright dusted snowball cookie. And if you're worried about Bungie maybe cracking down on you for AFK farming, I mean, I get it, but it shouldn't be too big of a worry. Bungie has mentioned in the past that there's a clear difference between macro usage and aimbotting. AFK cooking farming IMO falls under the former, but if you're really paranoid, then just farm it the old fashioned way. You can also farm spirit by turning in a bunch of cookies or doing bounty farming, but killing trash and just playing the game normally with the 7M ship equipped is probably the best backburner method. So there you go, we've covered both an AFK cookie farm, a dawning essence farm, a spirit farm, pretty much everything you need to know. Again, if you want a dawning weapon god roll guide, please click the like button and let me know down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching, happy farming, and I'll see you next time.